What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to build, man. Today, we've got 18 PC mods and testing. We got seven console mods and testing. With all those 22 mods were released today. Farming Simulator 22 is coming later this year. Casarius Modding are back with us with a new Magnum. FS Modding have a massive new tractor. The ARM team update us on what they've been working on. Custom Modding T's new combine. Black Eyes Official Modding have a new mod. Hopefully, it's not a Sammy or Lamborghini. LR Modding are working on a Fent Planter. Oh, yeah, you heard that right. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Amazon ZAO. C900, Axion 96930 TerraTrack, Shamberg Valley, Class Axion 800, Build Service Trailer, Homemade Barrel, JCB Front Bumper, Chrome TX 560D, Large Grain Storage, Large Hall, Lizard Beetle, Machinery Shed, Michelin Trail X Bib, MS391, Small Shed, Small Village Shop, Ursus C360 Covers, and the Vehicle Sleeper Cab. In testy for consoles, we have the Amazon UX5200 Pack, Axion 96930 TerraTrack, Italia Demo Version, Metal Shed, Old Lizard Car Trailer Pack, Vaderstad Tempo V8 V12, VPTV8 VPT12, and the Village Fountain. With all that being said, we still have 15 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. How do they do it? In addition to the mods of testing, 22 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub, including the John Deere X748 Mower Pack from JA Modding. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in first pin comment and description below today giant software announced something that we've all been waiting a long time for farming simulator 22 this will be the next flagship farming simulator game and the newest one since farming simulator 19. this will be the first game since the beginning of farm sim to change the naming scheme up since odd numbers were generally the flagship and even numbers were the mobile game. That numbering system now is no more. Farming Simulator 22 will be coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia in Q4 of 2021, which is between October 1st and December 31st of this year in 2021, though the exact date has not been announced yet. Basically, holiday season 2021, and you got it right. For those of you that have been asking, yes, Farm Sim 22 will have mods. Farming Simulator is built around mods, and there's no way they would remove the best feature in the game. I will be hosting a live stream breaking down the trailer as well as the screenshots that we got for Farming Simulator 22 today. That's going to be about 30 to 45 minutes after this video releases. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'll put a link in the description beside FS22 Info live stream. See you guys there. Moving into today's top stories, and we start with Casarius Modding for the first time in a while and their Case IH 2007-2008 Magnum series, which they're aiming for all platforms. They say that the progress on this mod is about 75% complete overall, and will go to Mod Hub once they are finished. They are also asking that if anyone has access to one of these, the 2007-2008 Case IH Magnum with its monitor and GPS setup to let them know. They're wanting to make the monitors are authentic on the inside and are looking for some real life models they can do them after. So if you've got one or have access to one, let them know. Leave a link into the description. <laughs> Serious modding. I can't even read my own writing. Next up, we hear from new modder to Farm Sim News, FS Modding 2019. Today, they present an almost completed project, their Thunder 680 Tracked Tractor. From the research I was able to do, can't find anything on this in real life, so looks like this is a totally fictional tractor, though it does get some nods from the quad track and things like that. Since this is a in, or in that case, I would assume all platforms, no issues whatsoever. At least that's the assumption here. This isn't the first thing that they've made for Farm Sim 19, though. Far from it. They've got a handful of mods out there. And you can check them out, as always. Link below. Today, the ARM team released their John Deere 1630 tractor with tools on the in-game mod hub, but there's no time to waste. Later today, they're going to be uploading their Silo King Tara Prestige 22000. This is going to be a hard edit of their Silo King Self-Line Compact 1612, and they say they hope we like it. As for their Mikkel 998 wrapper, they will be releasing it next month in the month of May, as they're making all of the animations for it from scratch. They're working hard on this and will be posting some new information soon for it. As for Farming Simulator 22, they intend on making mods for that as well. And as far as I can tell, they are one of the first, if not the first modders to come out publicly and say that. I cannot wait to see what they do. This is good news today all around. Custom Modding teases a new combine that they're working on. Although they didn't say what it is, we do know that they've been working on Project Red. So likely it's going to be a Case IH. By the size of it, this is going to be absolutely massive. With a huge topper on it, this is going to be competing with the big boys out there. We're talking about X9 territory and so on and so forth for capacity's sake. 
Oh yeah, and stay tuned to the channel because over the next few days, we have something special for you guys. A presentation right here, courtesy Custom Modding. Good night. Let's go. Black Eyes official modding are already hard at work on a new mod, though they've been making a habit of making mods that we basically already have. So hopefully this is something completely different. I think we have enough Sambri and Lamborghini tractors in game. A few guesses on their comments were Landini and Massey Ferguson, but who knows? Just gonna have to wait and see. What do you think? And lastly today, LR Mining is working on something new, a Fent Planter. You've heard that right. This would definitely be a first and it's something I'm very excited about. The Fent Momentum 16 row planter is getting its early work done right now. And within a few months, they will have some updates for their John Deere 1890 40 and 60 foot seeders, as well as their John Deere N540 to drill. Stay tuned for more. And I hope you stay tuned to my segue to the outro, which is just me saying the word segue and outro with other words mixed in. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. I did not talk about something you're interested in or curious about. It just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes only, most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator and updated information on Farm Sim 22. Let's go! Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. I don't want to say I told you so, but I've been telling you for a year, Farm Sim 21 is not a real game.